take a shot for every time I say intrigued or excited. You're gonna be drunk, sorry. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a little book haul of seven books that I have received recently from publishers that I thought I would share with you guys before I put them away on my shelves and hopefully read soon. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is actually already released. It came out on February 15th, 2022, but it is Meet Me in the Margins by Melissa Ferguson. I actually have this one on audiobook from my library, so I will be reading it very soon, but I think it sounds like so much fun. It's been comped as You've Got Mail meets The Proposal, and The Proposal is one of my favorite rom-coms of all time, so I just think that this is going to be really fun. It follows a woman named Savannah who is an editor and she works at a very stuffy firm but she recently got a request for her manuscript from one of the top romance imprints in the world. The imprint that she works for hates romance with a passion and so when she drops her manuscript in front of the son of the CEO of this company she's very worried and then she finds out that somebody has read her manuscript and she thinks that it is probably that man. And to make matters worse, he has left some notes in the margins of her manuscript and all of these notes are very similar to the ones that the big romance imprint ends up leaving on her manuscript, so she is very frustrated. So when that romance imprint says that she has six weeks to make those changes, she turns to this man for some help and I just think it's gonna be like a cute rom-com like maybe enemies to lovers kind of situation but I think it sounds really cute and I'm very very excited to start this very soon. The next one also already released came out on March 1st 2022 it is One Italian Summer by Rebecca Serrell. This is the author of In Five Years which I read two years ago, one year ago, a while ago, but I did end up really liking it. This one gives me kind of like Mamma Mia vibes. It basically follows this woman whose mother dies. They had this huge two-week trip planned for a very long time, so she decides that she's going to go on it alone. When she arrives on this trip, she ends up meeting her mom as a 30-year-old, and she like spends the whole two weeks with her mom and it's like her discovering new things about her mother and things that she didn't know. I don't know why that gives me Mamma Mia vibes, but like Mamma Mia vibes. I don't know, but I'm really excited. I think it sounds like it's going to be really fun, but also I thought that in five years was going to be a lot of fun and then it ripped my heart out. So I'm assuming that this is going to also rip my heart out just because that's what I got from this author before. So I guess we'll see. The next one that I have is The Whispers by Heidi Perks. I read her one mistake by this author and thought it was a really fun thriller. This one follows a woman named Anna who ends up going missing and her friend Grace is determined to find out what happened to her. Grace decides that somebody is hiding something and she's gonna figure it out. So it's like the story of that and I just love those like whodunit mysteries. I think they're so much fun. This one is another one already released March 8th, 2022 and I am probably going to be picking this one up soon. Like I said, I read Her One Mistake and I flew through that book so I'm assuming that I'm also gonna fly through this one. I just think her writing style is very easy to read. The so. next one I am probably the most excited about. I think it sounds so stinking good. This one is releasing April 5th, 2022 but it is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. It says that it is Wilder Girls Meets the Craft in this queer feminist horror debut about two inexplicably linked girls who must stop the horror they've unleashed at their school before it consumes their entire island. Basically, it follows this girl named Finch who moves to the island, goes to this new elite boarding school, and she meets the, like, leader of the school. She's, like, the hotshot bad bitch of the school. Her name is Selena St. Clair. Anybody with St. Clair as the last name, you just know they're gonna be a bad bitch or just a bitch in general. But they become inseparable and then they end up releasing this like demon thing from the basement of the school and like it wreaks havoc on this island and I just think it sounds so cool. I really hope I like it and also like the details on this cover are so cool. Like the letters, you probably can't tell, but they're made out of like kilt material, like the tartan, is that what it's called? But it like looks like it was ripped from a kilt. And I just think it's so cool. I'm like, I'm so intrigued and like there's blood splatter all over the pages, which we love Stabby Stabby Murder Murder books. The so next one is also released on April 5th, 2022. It is The Younger Wife by Sally Hepworth. This one follows two sisters. Their mother has dementia and their father has just announced that he is going to divorce 
the mom for this younger woman and the younger woman ends up having these secrets and the two sisters are trying to figure out what these secrets are and why she wants to marry their older father and it's mystery secrets betrayal I'm so excited. This one just kind of like showed up on my doorstep, which I didn't request it or anything, but it kind of gives me like Lisa Jewell vibes, which is one of my favorite thriller authors. So I'm definitely intrigued. Definitely going to be picking this one up very soon, hopefully, because I say that a lot and then it doesn't happen, but this one I feel like might actually happen. The next one I have is The Shadow Host by Anna Downs. This follows a single mother of two named Alex who ends up moving into this house. This house has a very sordid past. There's some secrets that this house is hiding that she is quickly discovering. It says a house with deadly secrets, a mother who will risk everything to bring them to light. So I don't know if like somebody died or like maybe there's somebody like hiding in the basement or something. I don't know, but I'm intrigued. It also came with like a sticker which we love goodies and I want to know what the heck this symbol means because I have no idea. Maybe like a, somebody drew it on the walls and it means something. I don't know, but it makes me so much more invested when it comes with the goodies and because I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? So. And then the final book that I was sent also releases in April. This one comes out April 19th, 2022, but it is Pay Dirt Road by Samantha Jane Allen. This one follows a girl and her grandfather who are actually private investigators and a woman goes missing. They're trying to find the woman. The granddaughter ends up relating a lot to this woman who has gone missing so she has to like face her past and the trauma that she has so we love investigations i also think that like a granddaughter grandfather duo is gonna be a lot of fun so we'll see we'll see what i think of it this is another one that i didn't request it just showed up but i am intrigued take a shot for every time i say intrigued or excited you're gonna be drunk. Sorry. All right, everybody. So those were a couple of books that I have recently been sent by publishers. Let me know down below if any of these caught your eye. If you think I should read one of them before the others, let me know. Also, let me know if you have read any of these by the time you see this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!